Hi everyone, Brittany here from By Brittany Goldwyn, and today I'm going to be taking you on a winter houseplant tour. So where we live, we're in Zone 7 in the U.S. in Maryland, so I can't grow outdoors during the late fall, winter, and early spring. So I'm going to take you on a tour of what I've got inside here for the winter and um, talk about some of the things that I do to keep the plants happy throughout the winter and um, also what I'm going to be taking outside for next spring and summer. So up here we have some of my favorite plants that like a lot of light. I get to look at these all day because I work up here, so that's why I have some of my favorites up here. I've got two hanging GE grow lights, and I do keep these going all year round. I keep them going for a little bit longer in the spring and summer, and only about eight hours a day in the fall and winter, like right now. Um, you can see the plants are all pretty happy. Up here I do occasionally run a humidifier because this room gets pretty dry. Um, um, but I don't do it every day just because I'm kind of lazy and I often forget to refill it and I don't feel like cleaning it. And these are mostly plants that I'm going to be keeping inside all year or I've always kept inside all year um, instead of taking them out for the spring and summer. I may bring the Euphorbia trigona in the back there, the tall one, um, out for the summer. That's a cutting of a very large plant that my dad has and I know that his does very well with a lot of extra light so I may bring that one outside. Otherwise the syndapsis, the snake plant, the pickle plant succulent here, um, I have a trailing philodendron over on the other side, a Ripsalis variety in the back, and then this silver dollar succulent vine here is one of my favorites. I may decide to take that one out for the summer. I'm not really sure. I'd love to see it finally start exploding with growth, and I think that taking it outside might help with that. Um, but, you know, I just hate cleaning some of the plants to bring them inside at the end of the year. Oh, and up here I've also got a good old hanging golden pothos above my desk and a fiddle leaf fig here that actually started as a little propagation last year, so it's doing pretty great. Next to that I've got another one of my favorites, a beautiful raven ZZ plant. Downstairs I've got my big beautiful rubber plant. I haven't really moved this one around too much, especially since it had dropped a ton of leaves and then I moved it to this corner and it just took off with growth last year. I actually had to cut the top off because it had gotten so tall that it was about to touch the ceiling and we have nine foot ceilings. And hanging on either side of the rubber plant, I have a curly orchid cactus here and then a big gorgeous string of turtles that was a little birthday present to myself last year. So I haven't had this one for too long, but it seems to be pretty happy here in this window. On the other side of this space is the area of my home that gets the most light, so I have a ton of plants over here. I've got most of my sense of area collection up here on top of my little IKEA greenhouse cabinet. And then in the actual greenhouse cabinet, I have a ton of things, some propagations, some of my plants that like higher levels of humidity. You can see my um, Syndapsis trubii moonlight propagating there in the front. That's one of my favorites I've been babying for a while. I've also got my large Hoya rope plant in here, a Monstera dubia, a couple other random Hoyas and some more um, rare Syndapsis. I have a trubii dark form here. And then on the bottom shelf, I've got my gorgeous Spirkin philodendron, which is definitely going out on the back patio next summer. A couple more Leca propagations, a little variegated rubber plant propagation I've got down here, and then my philodendron micans, which I love. I wish I could have hanging somewhere, but I found that it is happier in higher humidity environments. And my little Meyer lemon tree came inside for the winter. He's hanging on for his dear life and he's definitely going back outside. I've got my mini Monstera here, which is climbing pretty high. I'll probably make a trellis for him soon and maybe even move him, but I'd like to wait until I can repot him in the spring. These are such fast growers. Um, I really didn't think it would grow that much this winter, but it's already gotten a ton of new leaves even over the winter. Above it, I've got my Rick Rat Cactus, which is absolutely gorgeous. It about doubled in size this growing season. I only got it last March and it only had the bottom layers of growth and then the top area just exploded this summer. It was like every week it got a new shoot. I've also got a Pilia Chinese money plant here in this area. You can see quite a few babies growing on that one that I'll probably chop this spring. I've got a Hoya hanging above all of this stuff in the corner here and then you might have seen a little peek back there. To the left side is a string of hearts in that um, teardrop shaped white planter. 
Over here hanging in front of the window, I've got a few succulent types. This huge trailing plant is a Ripsalis Campos Portoana. That was a Mother's Day present from my husband last year. I really love that plant. In the diamond shaped black pot and planter is a string of pearls. And then we've got a donkey tail succulent right here that has gotten some amazing growth in the last two years as well. And that black cord in the corner too is actually a grow light I've got hanging from the ceiling as well, another GE grow light, and that's just to help these plants. Although this is a bright corner, it is the winter and the days are super short, so I have it up throughout the winter. And then finally, I've got my big beautiful Monstera Deliciosa downstairs. I usually keep this one upstairs, but I shuffled some things around for the winter and moved this guy downstairs in front of these windows. I also pruned off some of the smaller growth for the winter just to get it to fit, just because it was getting really unruly. And I'll probably take this outside next summer. And that is my winter plant tour, guys. It's only January and I already cannot wait until the spring. Late March, probably early April, I'll be able to start getting some things outside and I will do an update video.